Alright, so we're going to be having a Crix game now, and this one is going to be up against Crix. And, uh, you know, this is a guy where in the German League, he is new to Crix, he just kind of picked him up, but he is kicking butt with them. He has not lost a game yet, and so uh, this should be interesting. It is going to be 35 points, though, so we're kind of jumping ahead, doing a little bit of a bigger game. But looking here, he's running Denegra with two Death Rippers, a Slayer, and he also has a Ragman here. He actually wanted Gorman in his list, but he uh, didn't bring the model. Otherwise, on this side, here comes the Nasty. He has the Raiders with the UA, plus the Solo, and then he has a whole bunch of those Bane Thralls and Tartarus. So, this is a pretty good list. On my side, I'm going to have a couple of Crow Hunters. I'm going to have Snapjaw and Wrong Eye. Then I'm going to have my Posse and the uh, Witch Doctor. And then I have Rask and the Spitter, and then some Bog Trogs. Big, uh, you know, full unit of them. So otherwise, the board looks like this. We're playing Incursion. So first one to five, you get one point for controlling a flag, two for dominating. And at the end of the first turn, one of these will randomly disappear. Now, he chose for me to go first. So I had to deploy here. But with everything so open here in the middle and with my uh, this little, like, altar thing being my way here with the pillars, I was pretty sure that he was going to be trying to pick a fight there, knowing that it's going to be like bogging me down. He'll just control those two and then not throw too much on the other side. So my plan was to chew that stuff down with the gators, with the, you know, hopefully charging and maybe kill like one model with the bog trog, or sorry, the crow hunters, and then the bog trogs just basically clearing out whatever's on the right side and hopefully scoring on that flag. But it's pretty clear that after everything was done here that yeah, he has all of his dudes on the right side of the board, and there's just a battle group on the left side. Now, of course, we'll have to see how things move in the first couple of turns, but if nothing else, hey, you know, maybe I can just go and blitz Tanegra and kill her that way. So I get first turn, pretty much just moving up here. You know, I'm putting Zombify and Fury up on my posse, just kind of because, you know, I'm also going to go and... Uh, uh, submerge with wrong eye just in case he tries for something crazy first turn but you know otherwise I'm just kind of getting into position on his first turn yeah he makes it very clear he is going to the right side so the one a death ripper goes over so he could be arcing a spell to my uh, crow hunter but because of stealth that doesn't work otherwise he's kind of being pretty careful there you know i think he sees that he's gonna be taking on a, a big bulk of my army whereas everything else is just zipping to the right side so god do i hope that right flag disappears but you know it probably won't so at the end you know at the end of first turn the middle flag disappears and this will make it interesting because you know, it'd be really bad if the left flag went away. But now, of course, you know, maybe this actually helps the right flag stayed because if he has more troops staying over there to dominate that and all that stuff, control it rather, you know, then I'll have more of my force that I can dominate and go over on the left side. So we'll just have to see, have to see how this works out. So what I do on my next turn, and this is going to be my feet turn. So really my bog trog just set up to counter whatever he does. They're all within range of the feet. So really I'm expecting him to move up and then hopefully somebody can sneak around to contest the flag. Otherwise, hopefully I'm just going to kill off some of his dudes. Otherwise, I take off a shot with a spitter, able to kill one of the banes with a scatter and a boost. Uh, otherwise, yeah, submerging again. I have inhospitable ground up just to really keep those banes away. And otherwise, my two crow hunters charge into the, you know, the Death Ripper, just hoping to get something off there, but unfortunately was not. So his turn, yeah, <laughs> there, there's not too much he can do because of my feet, but uh, he still does okay. He really, I mean, he, I'm sure he could have walked up and got a few attacks on my bog chogs, but for the most part, he just decided just to run a few of her chicks up to me. Um, Tartarus is there to control the right flag because, I mean, I couldn't control my, my turn because, well, first of all, the Death Ripper is in a uh, contesting range and then as well, you can't score to the second player's second turn. So he's going to get a control point this turn. But yeah, all of his Banes and all of his people are just all over me. They're on the right side. So pretty much that is a lost cause, except that he did leave a hole where one of my bog trogs should be able to sneak through to slow him down for a turn anyway. And then otherwise on the left, not too much. He boosts and kills one of the crow hunters. He pops his feet this turn. And so this is equally bad because now they're just 
there isn't very much I can really do because I can't charge. My movement is like three on my gators. So yeah, I, I as much as my feet stops his stops him, he really shuts down me. So on my turn, I do my best. And really what I'm able to do here is, like I say, I go up and I, I, <laughs> I can test the flag on the right. However, I forgot that Tartarus is, you know, terrifying and all these things. So I take my command test, luckily pass. Otherwise, everyone working together is able to kill all of two witches. So, oh god, you know, these raiders are so much better than my bog trogs, it's not funny. Uh, otherwise... You know, my, my, spitter sh my spitter shoots, and I believe kills two or three Banes this turn with a scatter and double boost. So that's pretty good. Uh, I have Admonition up. I have Inhospitable Ground, really just to kind of slow him down. Uh, my Gators move up into the left as best they can. I'm zombifying them every turn. I submerge with both Wrong Eye and Snap Jaw. And really, I'm just hoping just to, you know, whatever you leave there of your battle group, I am going to crush. So we'll see what he does. So on his turn, he pretty much comes after my turtle after he goes and curses it, but I admonition away, so that's all great. On the right side, exactly what happens, what you'd expect. He slaughters everyone. Uh, he would have made more, well, he made a bane with Tartarus killing one of my bog trogs, but yeah, you know, that's what Tartarus does. Otherwise, yeah, he doesn't actually attack my gators really much at all. Um, he does one bone shaker from Ragman, does, you know, half damage to me, uh, misses my croak hunter. The slayer moves to the center. I mean, I really thought that slayer was going to be my face, starting to kill some of my gators. But no, he holds it back. Uh, he arcs through. He puts crippling grasp onto my gators. And that just sucks because it's basically just like her feet constantly on them. Um, I could take it off because, as I understand it, I can shoot them with Rast through the Arcane Interference, and it would take off both upkeeps, um, the Fury and the Crisp Cri uh, Crippling Grasp, but I don't know if it's really worth it, and, you know, I would I would hate to kill one of my Gators by, by doing that and shooting him in the back, because it is a pretty powerful gun. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, nobody scores this turn. He's contesting barely with the Death Ripper, so I don't have anything on the left. And on the right side, you know, his unit's touching it, but not the entire unit's not within three inches. So nothing there. But he did make a mistake here where the Raider Solo could have easily just walked over and gone onto the flag and got another point. He forgot to do that, or I don't know what his reasoning was. Maybe he was keeping it safe. But because of that, it's still one nothing. So on my turn, I decide that I really have to turn this around because I'm not going to be able to contest on the right anymore. I have to get points really fast. So that means I have to start dominating, basically. So uh, really, the gators go up. I decide not to shoot them because I need to run to get to dominate. So they just kind of do what they can, uh, which is, you know, one luckily hit the Death Ripper and did, you know... Pretty good damage, actually. Uh, otherwise, you know, then Snapjaw goes over, destroys a Death Ripper. Uh, Wrong Eye charges over, kills Ragman. I miss the other Death Ripper again. And then what I do is I charge Rask at Snapjaw. And, you know, I can't make it, but the 8 inches basically puts me on the flag. And for the least disturbance, I move back to where I am. So now I am contesting there, which is awesome. Well, dominating, rather. Uh, the turtle just goes back. I have inhospitable ground up, so that'll keep these banes away fairly good. But, uh, you know, he can always do ghostly, which is something I didn't really think of. Um, but anyway, the turtle goes back, shoots, kills even more Banes. So man, I mean, whereas I thought these Banes, I'd have a lot of trouble killing them, these scatters and then just boosting the, the blast damage is doing just great for me. So yeah, he's down to just four Banes. I dominate for two points and we see what he does back. So what he's going to do then is pretty much just swap the hell out of me. Uh, the Banes... Yeah, they they don't really do too much, actually. I don't even know if he even activated them looking at them. It looks like he just actually spaced them out because he just wants to get everything in my face. The, the Raiders, you know, finally the Solo goes over, gives them desperate pace. All the Raiders just run over to be over here. Uh, he goes and controls on the right side again. Uh, Tartarus, yeah, man, I don't even know if he even did anything this turn. But at this point, he's just desperately trying to throw things over. Uh... Yeah, trying to engage my my spitter. Uh, he goes and he's able to kill my other croak hunter. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it looked like for a while he had an idea for a caster kill, and he forgot to allocate to a slayer. And what it seemed the plan was to be was to go over, cast ghostly, uh, do some venoms, kill my witch doctor, and open up a path. However, you know, first of all, he forgot, and second of all, it wouldn't have worked because he just doesn't have enough focus to get it done. You know, with the witch doctor having all those boxes, you know, he puts in one boosted venom and just, you know doesn't do the job. So it's going to take two Venoms. He just didn't do it at the end. He decided to camp anyway. And uh, then a Slayer just went up and killed one of the uh, Gators. But the really critical thing here that's going to spell the end of the game is that he's going to score again by having his person on the flag on the right. So we at three. However, uh, because he didn't get anybody within range, the four inches to contest of my flag, because his Slayer is like four and a, a bit out, I'm going to dominate again. So this means no matter what, I'm going to win next turn. So that's really what I do. First of all, I say, hey, let's make this legit. I'll try killing Denegra. I go to shoot at her and stealth. So, uh, yeah, it's one of these things where I was really missing my allegiance. Like, oh, yeah, not everyone is Lilith and can just see everything. So after that, I decided just to say end the turn, dominate again, and that's it. Really looking back on the game, uh, I really got obviously pretty lucky because what should have happened is that the solo should have moved over controlled that one flag and then controlled it again you know at this point the slayer really should have moved up and contested but this is one of these things where you know if you're not just if you don't get these measurements right you're in trouble. So, I mean, the Slayer really had to dedicate. I'm sure he was trying to stay away just so it was harder for Snapjaw to, to kill him, you know, if he's too far away type thing. But, uh, yeah, in the, in the end, it really just kind of cost him and uh, got a lucky win here. So, hey, minions beating Cricks, I'll always take that. Always love being Denegra. So, thanks for watching. Bye.